If you're obsessed with shows just as we are, then you know all about keeping up with all the cast, waiting eagerly for any behind-the-scene moment. Even a tiny tease would do. Seems like the Virgin Rivers fans have been blessed by the teasing gods, with Benjamin Hollingsworth letting out some very unexpected twists for Season 5. We have all the scoop for you, and then more. So, stay tuned. Let's start with what you're here for, Hollingsworth's little tease. Benjamin Hollingsworth plays Dan Brady in the popular Netflix series Virgin River, which has recently come out with Season 4. Now, in the latest season, they introduced a new villain, Melissa Montgomery, who is seen and expected to be one of the most menacing yet on the show. She'll be played by Barbara Pollard. Hollingsworth agrees with his statement where he told TV Line that fear is a healthy emotion to have when it comes to the new and now highly anticipated villain. He further stated that Montgomery is obviously up to no good, especially when paired up with the fact that she's having dinner with Jack and Mel at the end. According to him, this is concerning, and Alexandra Breckenridge, who is Mel, agrees. If you can't recall, the scene he refers to is when Montgomery reveals that she's Nick's sister and then has dinner with Jack and the main character Mel. It was made public earlier this year that the Greek creator, Patrick Sean Smith, would be replacing Sue Tenney, the executive producer who has been with the show since the beginning. We're sad to see her go, but excited to see Smith in action. Bittersweet. As for how the story will unfold, it's predicted that season 5 will most probably help us discover the identity of the Charmaine twins' father. This is the best prediction, as in season 4, it was revealed that their father is not Jack. Did you know that the main character Mel had something to say about the latest season 2? Hollingsworth's co-star, Alexander Breck, Ridge, who portrays the main character Mel, had a lot to say about Melissa and her own theories about Season 5 as well. Let's dive into it. For those who are unaware, here's a little backstory on the beautiful blonde, Mel Monroe. She's a nurse practitioner and midwife who moves to the Virgin River to escape her previous life and is left shocked when she finds out that things aren't all that black and white here too. Well, she certainly agrees with Hollingsworth as she revealed that Melissa is definitely going to be a huge part of the series. She isn't sure what Melissa's intentions are, but has confirmed that they're obviously not going to be good in any sense. She she went on to reveal that Jack might get stuck in a pickle with Nick and Melissa getting involved in the business, and with Nick being a seemingly good guy. It's not easy to be sure if he knows of the villain or is just oblivious to what she does. Breckenridge doesn't think that his wife knew or the entire town would know. This left the fans definitely wanting more of the feel-good drama. Season 4 dropped back in July of this year, and the upcoming season is being filmed in Vancouver. This means that the fans can expect new episodes coming out towards the end of this year or the start of the next. Now, let's talk about Hollingsworth's character on the show. It has certainly been a rocky ride for good old Dan Brady, played by the loved Hollingsworth. Brady ended up behind bars in the season 2 finale, all because he shot Jack, so the recent season 4 starts out with Dan being newly in jail. However, don't feel down because it was revealed that Brady wasn't the shooter, it was Vince. Hollingsworth later said that he never doubted his character. I guess playing a character gives you the right to some bias. If you were sad to see Brady struggle, well, then the showrunner succeeded as the young star revealed that making Brady the red herring was the plan all along. They wanted to trick the fans, and they they did just that. Apparently, Jack's prison yard days are over. The stunning star revealed that getting shanked by fellow prisoners was a new experience for you. Ouch! He had to work with a stunt coordinator who made it exciting for him. He said they came up with all kinds of dances to not visibly show the shank. In an interview with ET Canada, he stated that he'd love to play the bad boy and is inspired by Tom Cruise and Bruce Willis. Moreover, he said it gives him a lot of freedom. He said that even though he caught his neighbors watching the show and scared them, he's most excited about the reaction of his kids and their happiness is reward enough. A short prediction of Brady is that it'll be hot, steamy, and might include some reconciliation and repairing of relationships. Let's all for a moment gush along with Hollingsworth over Jack's romance with Bree. Jack is seen romantically with Bree. Hollingsworth said this is a big reason for the character's personal growth, the direct result of a blooming love. He went on to gush about how love changes someone as a person because it forces one to explore more areas of themselves and life, definitely not swooning. Hollingsworth then opened up about his favorite part of season 4, and it has something to do with the romance. It's when Jack is seen giving comfort to Brie as she breaks down while simultaneously opening up to her. This empathy, comfort, and vulnerability is not the common reaction that was expected of Jack. As much as Hollingsworth loves to be the bad guy, with him riding motorbikes and getting the girl, he said that Jack is misunderstood and has a lot of layers, so now he experiences the fans changing their opinions of Jack. He took this moment to throw in another tease, saying that false accusations and prisons are just the beginning. Season 5 will give Jack trouble, especially with the new villain Melissa now coming in hot. You'd be happy to know that he gushed over the fans too. He stated that the support and love the new hit season got is wonderful, and he thinks it relates to a lot of people. It changed his life, and he's surprised by how many people recognize him, even with a mask and a cap. But let's be honest, who wouldn't? Now moving on to other news. Will this show continue on Netflix after season 5? The popular show aired on Netflix, and with season 4, there's a sense of finality that's inching closer and closer. There aren't any solid confirmations, but we do have predictions. For the most part, series on Netflix rarely surpass 4 seasons, so technically, Virgin 
Virgin River is ahead of many shows. It was confirmed before season 4 came out that there'd be two seasons ahead. So, what will happen after season 5? Now, the ideal situation would be if this drama continued further because it's based on a massive novel series by Robin Carr. There are 20 more books to go. However, the central love story between Mel and Jack seems to be wrapping up, which leads many to believe that the show is rapidly approaching its end. Next up, Hollingsworth is coming out with new projects fast. Now, a talented star like Hollingsworth can't be expected to just come on screen for one show. He's known for his bad boy role in Virgin River, but his latest Hallmark movie, A Splash of Love and Romance, in style, shows a completely different side. The latter movie is about the journey of a plus-size fashion designer, Ella, who's paired up with the task of teaching Derek to help him take over his father's magazine. Hollingsworth stated that as an extremely involved father, it's his job to instill good lessons in his three children, of whom he speaks fondly. Teaching them to be grateful, learn new things, and not give up is always at the top of his agenda. He goes on to say that he has a young daughter and wants her to always feel confident, valued, and loved, regardless of what she sees in the mirror. He says he'd take any project that helps him leave this message or influence this change. Last up, Alexandra Breckenridge shares her struggles with the fans while filming Virgin River. The star who plays Mel on the hit popular show Virgin River on Netflix revealed to her fans that she traveled, worked 14 hours on set, and came back to her Airbnb just to find a busted pipe and no running water. Now normally it isn't a big deal, but she said she had to work the next day again and move to a hotel with nine pages of content to memorize for the show. This isn't the first problem she had to face, as her family's belongings were stolen last month after arriving in Canada. Luckily, it was found by the authorities, and everything's fine. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think of the tease? What's your prediction? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one!